Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sierra Jordan. We begin tonight in Princeton. A Washington County man has died following a single vehicle crash early Saturday morning. Shortly after 5.30 a.m., Main State Police responded to the crash on Main Street in Princeton. Well, make sure you look out for flying pumpkins this weekend. Oh. Whoa, they're apparently they flying everywhere. So, happy Halloween. An Augusta man is in custody after being arrested Friday for allegedly assaulting his three-month-old son. Maine State Police, along with other law enforcement agencies across the state, are urging drivers to lock your car doors following a spike in burglaries in the past month. Anytime my mom comes up to visit, she goes, Sierra, take me to that lobster roll place. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm taking you there, mom, for lunch. Because because she loves it. It is highly recommended. Highly recommended. The Veterans and Legal Affairs Committee voted to advance an amended version of a bill that aims to save the main veterans' homes in Caribou and Machias. Next Step Domestic Violence Project says about 48% of domestic violence victims who have pets delay leaving their homes due to concern for their pet's safety. The Maine State Troopers Foundation has teamed up with two organizations for Autism Awareness Month. Stores across the country are facing a threat from smash-and-grab thieves who show up, rob them, and leave as quickly as they came. And in the center of the problem are stores in San Francisco Bay Area. This is the Butler family. Eliza Butler is a mother of four who had no family history of breast cancer. But one day, her life suddenly changed. And that does it for the final hour of Good Morning Maine. Thank you so much for watching.